this is the point of the show where we ask you, uh, you know, some of you might be having a watch party. It's not like you really have something to draw with or draw on, and that's okay. But maybe you came prepared if you're a big time fan and you're all ready to go. That's cool. But this is a part of the show where we invite people to grab a post-it note, grab a pen, grab some markers, and draw along. And we go back to that day, those days when we were young and when we were all artists and we all loved filling our refrigerator with drawings. And so I have a simple drawing here for us tonight since we're in sort of a celebratory mood. And uh, if you want to follow along with me, this is going to be on a replay so you can watch the, the show afterwards uh, and follow along. But what we're going to start out with here is I'm going to draw two, um, first I need to get some color in here, make sure I'm on the right layer. Okay. I'm going to draw two U's. Make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to draw one U like this, and it's a little bit slanted. And then I'm going to draw another one slanted the other direction. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to draw two lines at the bottom that looks like this. All right. Pretty simple so far. You guys got this. Okay. Then I'm going to draw another line underneath each of the um, things I'm working on here, just like that little space. And then I'm going to fill in that space the little slanted, connect them with a little slanted line. Okay. Now, at the top of these U's, I'm going to draw a little oval. It's going to look a little bit like this. Okay. And I'm going to do another one over here. And we're starting to get some champagne flutes here. Now, here's the next part. And this is going to be, this is going to add a little bit of depth and make this look like, like glass. Okay is I'm going to draw some, some more ovals, but I'm not going to draw them all the way to the edge. All right, I'm going to draw it smaller. And I'm going to do another one on this side, smaller. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an outline that kind of goes along the edge of the glass. And you'll see what I'm going to do here, but I'm going to leave this space here. And this is going to give the illusion that this glass is see-through, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, um, and I'm using an app called Procreate, which is on the uh, iPad, but there's all kinds of drawing pads, and of course you can adjust this however you want with whatever you're working on. Um, and then I'm just gonna fill this in with kind of a champagne -y color. It's kind of like a really light yellowish brown. And the other one, I'm going to do the same side, same thing on the other side. Pull this in. I'm actually going to go a little bit more opaque here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a color that's a little bit lighter than the one I just used. And I'm going to draw some little bubbles in here. Just little dots, little bubbles. Because, of course, champagne is bubbly. All right, and then I'm going to get a black, and I'm going to draw some little, little face on here. Little eyes. Oops, a little bit. Little smile. Little eyes, little smile. Okay, now for the final touch, these little dudes kind of seem like they're in love. So I'm going to draw little hearts up here and I'm going to draw, I'm going to take that white again and I'm going to do a couple little lines here, kind of like that little clink. This is sort of like the Batman, how when Batman would punch the Joker and then there'd be like a noise that appear, the word would be on screen, clink. And there we go. There's some little champagne flutes <laughs> that are clinking in a celebratory manner. Um, we like to have a little bit of fun on the uh, the Let's Draw segment. So uh, I love how you turned, you know, these whimsical little champagne glasses into a Batman comic. Right? <laughs> if that's not Jason, I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's, that's how I roll. <laughs>